ladies and gentlemen. The lovely and very short Dave Reines, ladies and gentlemen. There he is. So I saw a Haunt for Jesus bumper sticker, and um, I'm just going to finish this bit. <laughs> Thanks for coming, everybody. It's great to see you here. We enjoy having you all here. Uh, I especially like to thank the folks who sat right down front. Because a lot of times at comedy shows, people go, oh, I don't want to sit down front. No, because the comedians will pick on us, but I'm not going to pick on anybody. Welcome to the front. It's great to have you here. Well, what's your name? <laughs> <laughs> Melissa. Let's give Melissa a big round of applause. Melissa, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. That's it. Okay. I, uh, I'm it's great to be here. I love doing I love doing stand up comedy. It's a lot of fun. Uh, the thing I've learned though, being a comedian for so long, is that you kind of have to watch what you say in certain situations. Because as a comedian, you always want to say the funny thing, like what, no matter what kind of situation you're in. And I found out that there are some situations where you should just shut up. And uh, I was driving from San Francisco to Los Angeles with my brother, and uh, we were driving down Interstate Five, and a police officer pulled me over. He said 90 plus, whatever that means, a crazy cop lingo. But uh, <laughs> God bless the police officers. I would not want to have that job. It's a, it's, a, it's a tough job. But he did that really stereotypical police officer thing where he walked up to the side of the car, put his arm against the window, and said, So, what's the rush? <laughs> and I had to physically stop myself before I said, Well, the body in the trunk was starting to smell, and uh, I had to get it home into the ground before it got it. Really bad. Uh, so I, I didn't say that. I, uh, I stopped myself, and as, uh, he gave me my nice $280 ticket, and uh, as we're pulling away, I lean over to my brother and I go, this is what I was going to say. My brother goes, oh, that would have been funny. But what I would have said is, we're just trying to get home to your wife before you do, officer. <laughs> <laughs> my brother gets a lot more speed tickets than I do. I just <laughs> I, another situation, uh, uh, you know, I want to be one of those um, those uh, big mega superstars that uh, the kids can look up to because I think kids need a lot of good role models. So uh, I decided uh, to I would live my life in a way that I think kids should live their lives. So uh, the first thing I did was I went out and got an STD test, uh, <laughs> and uh, I, I didn't I never had an STD test an STD test before, and I didn't know uh, how to do it, what you know how to how to go about it. But I listen to Loveline a lot, and on Loveline they say, uh, <laughs> all right, Loveline. Um, they say go to Planned Parenthood. So uh, I looked up Planned Parenthood online, and it turns out you can make your appointment right online for Planned Parenthood. So uh, I made my appointment for 9 o'clock Monday morning, right when they opened. And let me tell you, 9 o'clock Monday morning at Planned Parenthood, there's some worried looking people there. <laughs> a lot of sweating and nail biting. So I got some phone numbers, and uh, <laughs> um, but I went up to the counter, and uh, this is another thing I learned uh, was I went to the counter, and I go, uh, yes, I like an STD test, and I didn't know this. Uh, there's not just one STD test. You don't just get one. There's different ones for different things. And she goes, well, which STD test would you like? And I said, well, what do you got? And she said. Uh, Let's see, uh, would you like a herpes test? And I go, yes I would. And she goes, okay, that'll be $18. Uh, would you like an HIV AIDS test? And I go, yes, please, I would. And she goes, all right, that'll be $48. And she goes, would you like a uh, chlamydia test? And I go, I'm here. And she goes, okay. <laughs> $18, uh, would you like a syphilis test? And I go, yeah, let's, let's check it all. And she goes, mm, uh, syphilis is very rare. I'd be very surprised if you had syphilis. <laughs> Said, well, thank you, but uh, I would like I would like to get a I would like to get a, a test for and she goes, all right, let's see, syphilis, one dollar. <laughs> one dollar? One dollar for a syphilis test? She said, yeah. Syphilis test for everybody. Who wants them? I think that was funny. Uh, <laughs> here's your number, have a seat, sir. Uh, but I, I just told you that story basically to say, ladies, I'm clean. Uh, <laughs> I don't even have syphilis. I checked 20 times. Um, so, uh, 
Yeah, I can see the ladies are going to be lining up afterwards. <laughs> it's going to be great. Uh, I'm on MySpace. If you go to myspace.com slash throwing toasters, uh, I love saying that out loud uh, for an audience because then I run right home and sign on and no friends. Uh, <laughs> you and me again tonight, Tom. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I'm, a, I'm a substitute teacher during the day uh, because I feel uh, megastars should give back to the community. And uh, that's funny, I guess. I, uh, so anyway, I, I, um, I, people often go, you're a comedian and a substitute teacher. You must have so many wonderful, funny stories about the kids. So I did this one. I was teaching, I teach in Glendale. And I was teaching uh, a group of uh, fourth graders how to write a paragraph. And I said, when you're done with your paragraph, bring it up to me, and I'll proofread it by reading it out loud. And uh, so this kid finishes his paper, and he brings it up to me, and I go to read it out loud, and it goes, my trip to Las Vegas. I took a trip to Las Vegas with my family. It took us four hours to get there in the car. It was a very long and boring trip. All I did was sit in the back seat, listen to music, and play with myself. <laughs> Uh, Michael, um, don't you mean you were playing by yourself? And he goes, what do you mean? And I go, well, I mean, there was nobody else in the backseat with you. You were there all alone. You were playing by yourself. And he goes, no, I meant I was touching my penis. <laughs> <laughs> all right, good job. Have a seat. Uh, my name is Michael Good night, everybody.